So in the um, ES News interview, shout out to Ellie Sec back. Uh, Javante Tank Davis's coach, Calvin and trainer Calvin Ford, which practically raised Tank. You know, he practically like his dad. He comes out, he says that um that Tank Davis is they waiting on the uh Vasil Lomachenko fight, man. <laughs> Very interesting for him to come out and say that, man. But here's the thing. How's that even the case? Seems like somebody lying. Reason I say that is, didn't Floyd Mayweather just come out not too long ago and say uh, Tank Davis is only going to be fighting in-house fights and isn't Vasil Lomachenko top rank? So, Calvin Ford going to have to explain to us uh, how is that possible? How is that fight going to happen? He's saying... They waiting on the Lomachenko fight. All right, so then they know something that we don't know. They got something in the works. Because clearly, um, word on the street is there's a strong possibility Tank Davis' next fight is going to be Rolando Romero. And that was he was supposed to have been unfold him already. But, you know, all of the, the sexual allegations came out on Roley, and they pulled him from the fight and replaced him with Isak Cruz. So, to be honest, man, it's only right that Roley get his chance at that, man, because that was supposed to be his fight. And then some, some smut-ass bitch comes out and, and fucks it up for Roley. And if I was Roley, I'd be looking for her and I would be pressing charges on her, um, trying to sue her for defamation of character. I will make her life a living hell, bro. But anyway, that's a little side topic. Um, how's this fight going to get made? He need, they need to come out and explain it. They, look, man. Let I want Tank and Roley to fight because t uh, Roley was supposed to fight him. That was so I, I, I want to see that. I do want to see that. Absolutely. I know a lot of people don't. I want to see that fight. Once that fight is over, Tank need to start. I mean, he should have been doing it. We've been saying this for how long now? He's he's 27 years old. He has what 25, 26 fights. He has. Almost the same amount of fights as his age already. He should have already been fighting some top-notch, top-level elite competition. He, he has fought zero elite competition. The only person you could say he really fought that was really worthy of being called a slight bit of elite is um down at 130 when he fought for the uh the WBA Super. Was it the that's the real the real WBA belt down at 130 when he fought Pedraza? Um, I'm sorry, no, I meant to say the IBF. It was the IBF. I, I don't know why I keep thinking it was WBA. I could have sworn Tank had a WBA down at 130. Could have sworn he had a WBA belt down there. I know he got the WBA uh, regular at 140, but I could have sworn Tank had the WBA 130. The, um, I thought it was the WBA. I don't, I'm tripping. I thought it was, but it was the IBF, I think, from Pedraza. But that's it. And Pedraza is not even, uh, you know, I mean, come on, man. I mean, goddamn. Like, when? When is this? When are they going to let this kid off his leash, bro? We don't want to hear he's waiting on fights for, with, with, with good calm. We want to see the fights, bro. And Calvin Ford coming out saying that either, either he knows something that we don't know because then that would be contradicting to what Floyd said. Floyd said he's only going to be fighting in-house fights. And that should tell you a lot right there. If you're just going to have your fighter fighting inside in-house fights, then you don't expect him to flourish, man, to blossom into something else. He wants him to be strictly a money generator for PBC. It sort of seemed like to me, man. It seems like that. But... It should be interesting to see what happens after this fight with Roley because that, that is more than likely what's going to happen next is that Roley fight. And after the Roley fight, I want to hear Calvin Ford. I want to hear Floyd Mayweather. I want to hear Tank. I, I want to hear them come out and start talking about Lomachenko's fight is coming then. But then you hear that Bob Barum is trying to push the fight with Cambosos and Lomachenko. And I'm hearing that's a strong possibility. So, I don't know. And I'm going to touch on that soon, too. But let me know what you think about Calvin Ford coming out saying that Tank Davis is waiting on Vasil Lomachenko. They are waiting for that fight. 
waiting where, bro? Where are you waiting? Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Like, subscribe, support the channel, man. Catch y'all later on the next one.